uh, I'm Father Tom Onyonyi Siangu of the Congregation of the Holy Ghost Fathers. I'm the third parish priest since the inception of this parish. After the founder, Father Jerry Foley, who is now with the Lord, and Father David Conway. This parish of Ingan Edward was established in the year 1980. Mostly, the church has been dealing with the issues concerning the faith, pastoral work in general, and this means uh, taking care of the, the growth of the faith of the people, and uh, at the same time looking into the areas that uh, affect humanity in general, like health, uh, livelihood, and um, education. Uh, currently, we serve uh, almost six uh, mass centers. That is Parpelo, uh, Koloa, Cheptur, Tilingwa, and Tiki. Before this mission was started, we were purely worshipping in the traditional way, and the population here was also very scarce because there were issues to do with insecurity between the Pokot and the Turkana. So what we are told, because I was also not born by then, is that when the first missionaries came in here, it attracted the attention of two, three families. That is the Lobok family, uh, Charem's family, which is my dad's family, and the late Mr. Captria's family. So when the first missionaries came in here, they started supporting the mission by constructing the mission, the sister's house, and that's how it started. The challenge I face is uh, the empowerment of the priest to do the work himself. Because of the financial constraints that we have, the environment in which we operate, and the people being dependent to the church, and uh, if you don't have such uh, interventions from outside like donors, you cannot survive in this area. We thank God the community is also responding. And as you heard from Father Tom, he's the third parish priest, but the first two parish priests were Irish. So there's an expectation that comes along with that because before, maybe there were more like sponsorships for students going to school. Uh, food relief, for example, was there. But we all understand that there are changes now throughout the world. Donor funding has gone down and all this. So it's been a, an expectation that we are trying to manage, trying to transform the community to understand that we now need to be more self-reliant other than relying on maybe donations and handouts from from donors. But uh, I, might, uh, I must comment that the community's understanding, uh, though there are challenges of uh, maybe hunger, lack of school fees, but uh, clearly you can see that the Holy Ghost Fathers through this work and setting up of Barpelo High School and the, and the pastoral work, uh, the mindset is changing slowly by slowly. And it's only through this education that you can change the whole society. Uh, we have like a conference from the Irish province that have been helping us and the organization of Trochia, uh, Mission Kara, and uh, many others. But these are the major ones who have been coming in often to help us. Uh, definitely, the faith has grown, and the number is increasing, and the people are coming to understand what it means to be Christian. In comparison to the year when the church was uh, started, so, and even education-wise, there is a change. So many graduates around. Health-wise, also people are getting the health uh, whatever services that they require. So there is a, a drastic change that we are experiencing, heading towards the best. We will wish that uh, those who, who see our plight come in and uh, assist us. Uh, because this area is drought, the brown area. So if the well-wishers, like the current partners we have, they continue having the same attitude towards us, and the others who happen to see our plight can chip in, then we can make other things work out for the betterment of the people and the area and the church in general. Thank you. Oh, my God.